Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Eddard's latest release. This is the 148 scale uh, F4 F3 Wildcat, which actually I'm really excited about. Having built the Hellcat um, a couple of years ago, I uh, did that one. It's really nice to see it sort of stable mate as well, getting the Wildcat out. So as you can see, beautiful box art absolutely gorgeous uh as you can see we've got various bits and pieces going down in here but it just looks gorgeous doesn't it i must admit there's something about the wildcat i really do like it so quick run around on the box you can see kit number for this one 82201 and then we've got bits down on there and we've got your marking options you see we've got some really nice uh, marking options down there so we've got one off the ranger uh well we've got them all over the place so yeah so we've got the lexington we've got the yorktown uh we've got one from midway um, we've got one from Wake as well, and then obviously we've got one from out of Louisiana uh, as well. So plenty of options down in there. So in the box we are greeted by that sort of normal way of doing things. So we've got a zip bag with the clear parts, very nice indeed. We've got wings, and obviously we've got the fuselage halves. We've got obviously the front end, some of the formers, and all the other bits in another bag. So we've got three screws in there. And we have really nice instruction booklet, but obviously this is the uh, Profi Pack. So with the Profi Pack, you do get color photo etch. We've got a mask set, which is die cut. We've got a small correction sheet, and we've got a huge set of decals. Two lots down in there, as you can see. Very nice. We'll have a look at all of those just in a moment. We'll keep the correction just off again so down in the old instructions usual thing all about the different aircraft you're going to be building it's going to be modular we know this one we're going to expect other versions coming out as well so obviously there's a lot of parts in here we're not going to be using so just keep an eye out for those ones when you're going through again Eddard's standard way of uh, doing their instructions as you can see nice and colorful showing you exactly where you need to take bits off for adding the actual color photo etch uh, bits and pieces you see right the way down in here gorgeous looking cockpit obviously we've got the harnesses for it we've got the bulkheads going on the instrument panel making up obviously a really nice cockpit section and then obviously we've got this gorgeous wing spar section, which I really love in kits these days. And we've got actual four engine mounts being fitted down into here as well. Obviously talking about the rudder pedals, fitting them up into the cockpit, getting all these different areas down into this one as well. So lots of detail down in here. And don't forget, we've got the undercarriage comes up in here as well. So we're going to have lots of stuff to see. All right. Then it's talking about obviously some of the internals being put in for the actual fuselage halves. Obviously some of them are photo etch. We've got the little windows down at the bottom as well. And then and it's a case of fitting it all in so we've got fuselage hearts we've got that engine mount wing spar system going in and then the cockpit behind it so again that looks really nice indeed and then the gear now the gear is always going to be quite complicated on these so just take your time with it going right the way through but as you can see it's going to go in there and then it's all going to fit in just down in here to give you that sort of unique uh, look to the Wildcat, which is obviously its gear at the front. So those all being fitted down in there. It's talking about the mast one. Again, you've got a full mast set for this one for doing the tyres and the actual canopy work. Tail wheel being fitted together, and then obviously main gear and the actual gear doors being fitted down in there as well at the front. Wing section, as you can see, going down in here, and it's talking about obviously the various bits in this one. We've got your flaps and stuff. Now, engine, we do have a correction sheet for this engine as well. So it's talking about it down in here. Obviously, you've got to open up the holes. It's not mentioning it down in here so much. Markings for A, B, C, D, E, F, only 0.6. E1, uh, so yes. Okay, so it's E3 and E1, where it's talking about E4 and E3. So that's what that is. Uh, E1, no, it's not, I don't know. Pass, I can't actually see what that correction is for. If it does, someone let me know. <laughs> right okay so wing sections going together no problem at all tailplanes going this one engine sections going together down in here you can see really nice and then the great thing is we can display this one open or closed so you obviously got some little removable things down in here and you can fit the front on just like that tailplane system being fitted right the way through wings usual bits and pieces down in there engine on the front we've got the little gun sight being fitted down in there all right so very nice indeed Canopies being fitted, spinner going in the front, obviously with the prop in there, pitot tube, things like that, canopy open, close. Weapons fit down underneath here, so you have got some uh, drop tank type areas down in there, some various aerials which are all made out of photo etch, and then you're into these gorgeous markings right the way through, and really nice different ones as well. So that's very nice indeed. So we've got one from Wake Island down in here, one off the Yorktown. 
some very nice ones and one from Midway Island as well for that classic aircraft. Very, very nice indeed. So what we'll do, we'll keep that in there. Decals, as you can see, I'm not gonna worry about getting these out. I don't, I assume these are their new type, which they are. So again, just take your time with these uh, and you'll be absolutely fine. I'm not gonna to go into massive depths about them because you know my opinions on that one. Uh, we've got a die cut mask set down in here. So pretty much the standard, absolutely gorgeous. We've also got the actual, just down this end, I'm not really getting it out, you can see, We've got the colour instrument panels for the cockpit, all the various parts and some other bits and pieces, harnesses, lap belts, stuff like that, as you can see down in there. All right, so beautiful. Okay, so if we start just down in here. <clears throat> we will start with the fuselage halves. Beautiful texture. It's a, a beautiful finish because actually what you've got here is raised rivet detail with recessed panel lines. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous feel to it. They're really sharp. Very, very nice indeed. Hopefully the camera appreciate that because it is very, very nice. Whilst the obviously the um, uh, Hellcat was lapped over paneling, this is obviously sandwiched uh, next to each other. So it's smooth. But then you've got that gorgeous feel with all the raised rivets on it. So uh, very nice indeed. A little bit of detail down in the bottom there around the cockpit, which you're going to add to, but obviously not much. But what's really nice, we've got no ejector pins anywhere where you're going to see. So that's very, very nice indeed. But actually that fuselage section is really nice. Again, at the same time, we've obviously got the wings. And again, it's a real mix. So the wing section here, it's one of those ones where you've got some of them is raised rivets, some of them are recessed. So hopefully the camera can catch it in the angle. Here we sort of go. So you sort of raise rivets all along here, but then back on it, they're flush. And there's raised rivets down the back a little bit. So very, very nice indeed. You can see on the underside, gorgeous detail. And to be honest, this is the thing. They are absolutely fantastic. Got a little bit of detail just down in here for that wing spar section to slide along, but obviously you don't see anything in there at all. Very nice. Then we're into the more of the that sections just down in here. So I'll start down here at the back. We've got the uh, bulkheads in the various areas. And again, the molds that they're doing these days are so highly polished and finished. They are absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Got the floor of the cockpit. You'll see lots of the things. Got the wing spar section there. Got the wheels, which aren't weight on wheels, but fair enough. On the other side, you can see very, very nice. No problems with any of that at all. Engine sections and all of the various parts down in here. And again, we've got all the different cowlings, different types on the front ones as well. We've got those engines. And again, we expect to see other versions down in here. That's why we've got some differences. Got the prop, production gears on the front. Absolutely gorgeous right the way through. Very, very fine, crisp, highly polished, as we were saying, mould, which is very nice indeed. And again, last up, we've got Sprue M here looking very very nice indeed so over here we've got some of the drop tanks we've got the tails we've got the back of the engine down in there lots of the drop tanks we've got the control services we've got another reduction gear tailplanes and again lovely detail across these tailplanes got raised riveting over the actual formers very nice indeed we've got the guns down in there again right the way over very nicely done. Last up, we've got the clear parts. Very crystal, gorgeous. Even though they're small, and again, we've got different canopies down in here, different windscreens, but you can see, beautifully done. Very, very nicely done all the way through. So we've got the long sight down in here. We've got the normal gun sights. We've got the lights, various bits and pieces. We've got the little windows down at the floor. Really very, very nice indeed. 
I have to say, let's face it, Eddard never disappoints these days. Again, really looking forward to seeing this one. Yes, there is other kits of it out there, but that has got to be the definitive one. That surface detail and the mix of raised and recessed uh, on that one is just absolutely beautiful. The details down in the engine and around, obviously, the gear. With the gear up, you don't see anything, but when it's down, you can look through. So it's really nice that you can continue to see right the way through and all that detail. And again, if you can have it with the engine open and showing off that detail down in there, there's a hell of a lot going on. Being the Profi Pack, I say you've got your back, you've got your you know, instrument panel, uh, and obviously all your details and things like that in color photo etch, that's very nice to touch. And obviously you've got a mask set. So really with that kit, you've got something to build perfectly. And you've got some gorgeous six options of markings in there. What's not to love? That's the Eddard 148 scale F4F3 Wildcat.